Welcome to Hack Naked News. This week we're talking Adobe and Microsoft updates. Follow up on Guccifer and new ransomware. Stay tuned. This is a Security Weekly production. Brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. IT Pro TV offers 1,000 hours of up to date, high quality video training content. Course topics include certified cloud security professional, ethical hacking, cryptography, and VMware. You can stream their courses live or on demand to your mobile device, all for one low monthly subscription price and cancel at any time. Visit ITProTV forward slash hack naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HN30 for a free seven day trial and get 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked News, recorded October 18th, 2016. As always, I'm your host, Aaron Lyons. So Adobe and Microsoft did not disappoint us this month with security updates. And Adobe released patches for 84 vulnerabilities across Flash, Acrobat, and Creative Cloud. Now, these vulnerabilities include a dozen remote code execution exploits in Flash, 71 free after use memory corruption and buffer overflow vulnerabilities in Acrobat, and Creative Cloud claims our final vulnerability as a local privilege escalation. Now, I'm sure that the Acrobat and Flash vulnerabilities are going to be targeted and exploited by all of our favorite exploit kids kits out there very soon if they're not already being. So you haven't applied to your Adobe patches and you're using these Adobe products, patch, 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 you need to get on top of it. Well, Microsoft also released 10 security bulletins on Patch Tuesday last week. Now, half of them are rated critical, and these include zero days in Edge, Office, GDI+, Plus, which is a uh, graphics display interface, and also Microsoft's Instant Messaging API. Now, this is also the first month where Microsoft has moved to a roll-up for patches, other than, rather than being able to download individual patches. That's right. No more picking or choosing which patches to apply. There are essentially only two options moving forward, either a security-only roll-up or a monthly roll-up, which includes all updates. And I know for a fact this is going to chap a lot of sysadmins asses out there. Now, you know, if there was a security update in the past that broke a legacy application that you had running, you could choose not to apply that update. Now, that's no longer a choice to just not apply one patch and find, you know, a single, you know, a compensating control for that security hole. Now, you're going to have to make a much harder decision to choose not to apply any security patches at all, which is a much, much harder pill to swallow and to protect. Well, we've been following the trial and sentencing of Guccifer throughout this past year. And just to bring everyone up to speed here, between 2012 and 2014, the hacker known as Guccifer hacked into the personal email and social media accounts of about 100 high-profile Americans. And they include the family members of two former U.S. presidents, a former member of the U.S. cabinet, former member of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, and a former presidential advisor. Well, he was arrested in Romania in January of 2014 and then was extradited to the U.S. in March of this year. Now, at the beginning of September, he was finally sentenced to 52 months in prison in the United States. Well, this guy can't catch a break. He's now being sent 
back to Romania to finish a seven-year jail sentence there. Now, when he finishes that sentence in 2018, he's going to be sent back to the U.S. to serve his 52-month sentence here. Really would not want to be this guy. I wonder if this is trying to send a message out there to people. Don't hack into social media accounts of anyone important. Well, wouldn't be Hack Naked News if we didn't cover ransomware. And there is a new variant out there taking a page from Phantom. Now, Comrade Circle ransomware is displaying a fake Windows update screen while performing the encryption, much like Phantom. Now, what's actually sort of cool about this ransomware is their ransom note. Because if you can't pay their ransom, they're offering you a job. That's right. You can't pay? That's fine. Just work for us. Not only are you going to get your files back, they're going to give you a cut of all the profit you generate for them. And all you have to do is spread their ransomware. That's right. You got hit by ransomware. Need your files back. Can't pay. Just spread more ransomware. Perfect solution. I can't stress it enough. Backups. Multiple backups. Backups with versioning. There are so many solutions out there that are really, really cheap. Find one. Pick one. Whichever one it is. Do it. Can't stress enough. Patch, patch, patch. Backup, backup, backup. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. I'll spare you any more ranting and keep on hacking naked.